Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Life is Strange. Oh, booth. Sit in the booth. Not yet. I'm still looking. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. That's too bad. I totally would have done it. Sounds fun to me. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. To Joyce. Best burgers and gentle vibe in Oregon. Further. K. I do have a fr I actually have a friend named Kay who kind of looks like this, only a much younger, my age version. If, if my friend Kay, who actually is in my, is, in, is one of my groomsmen, if he actually, um, when he reaches a certain age, I can imagine him looking like this, so that's pretty awesome. Um, banjo tune? <laughs> I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Apropos. I know she likes guitars, but I kind of want to get a little bit of variety. We've been hearing a lot of guitar music lately. Let's listen to some banjo. <laughs> Forgot about the Fishing Wall of Fame. Two Whales Diner Fishing Awards. Winner every month. White Sturgeon, caught by Dick Weber. Steelhead Trout, caught by Andy Barry. Chin Hook Salmon, caught by Rick Conrad. Good job, boys. Food counter. Mmm, yummy. Drool. Want everything. Oh, that looks divine. Nami. Ta trucker? Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. I don't know. That's life's not for me. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Sorry? Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. It's a nice looking truck. I like the paint job, sir. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. All right. Over now. Are you one of the corrupted, bribed cops? That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Yeah, somebody threatened me. Somebody threatened my life, and my friend probably got raped by the same guy, and blah blah. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Oh, or you can oh, tell that him that. That is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide: Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Ooh, that sounds like a very awesome choice. Well, e you either would do. Let's talk about David Manson. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Because he's a punk. <laughs> he kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Right, that's a nice way to put it. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, Mom. our mother. Yep. And Chloe. So you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Oh. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Oh. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Yeah, that happened too. Who told you? Uh. Who told you Probably that? the father. I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over him. Is she a friend of yours? Yeah. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Yeah. She can be. I'm not gonna say no. I'm aware. I'm not blind. She definitely can be a handful. I'm she not blind. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I am. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. That would be nice I have to too. Go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. 
That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I personally think being a, both a good friend and a good daughter and, you know, is a good thing, personally. I, I do value that. I'd be lying if I said I did not. Being a good friend and a good daughter at the same time is is a good, very good thing. Hey, Joyce. Chloe is a very cute mom. She looks great for her age. And there she Go is. Go you. A lovely young Sport woman. those heels. How are you doing, Max? Hi, You're looking Joyce. really good, it's Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look very pretty. You look the same. Hmm. Yeah. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Thank you. That's what You're I said. Safe, kid. You're still smart. I'm very I honest. I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope no, you get that, to know him what? on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just Oh, yeah, I know him on my terms. Sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I'm trying to I will be, be promise. I'm trying to be a good influence. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. And that's not anyway, very productive. I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. That's not very Joyce, productive. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Mm hmm I think... Chloe understands. I'd like to- I'd like to believe she does. Chloe understands. She just needs... time. Yeah. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? We already talked about this. David hit her. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. I already told her he that. He feels awful. And he will be punished. Really? But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues and it goes board. both ways. It he goes does both care ways. About her, along with all the students at Blackwell. It's not an excuse to hit her, though. But it goes both. It does go both ways. But I'm not. I'm not turning a blind eye to him hitting her because I think that is the, that is the greater of the two. In my in my opinion, that's the greater of the two evils. Um. I'm not gonna mention this because that's just weird. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay on the topic. That just goes off the topic. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do Ooh, you want? Do to I eat? get a choice? Ooh, Belgian waffle or a bacon omelet? Oh, let's. Oh, in the morning, I want some waffles. In the morning, I'm making waffles. I love me some waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring, bring it, on. it on. Now finish your coffee. Thank you. Thank you, Joycey. Yay. All right, so where's Chloe? One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. A nerd graffiti. <laughs> Warren must have been here. Oh, uh, Warren. I can't wait for a date. The only thing that's date. changed on the menu are the prices. Two Whales Diner, homestyle cooking. Welcome to Two Whales Diner. Breakfast, homestyle bake eggs and bacon, five fifty. Apples, uh, yeah, Angel Art's probably one of the only people who actually is going to read aloud the entire menu. Because I'm thorough like that. Apple sausage omelet, six twenty-five. Bigfoot bacon omelets, five six fifty. Golden potato omelet, 
550, Morning Glory Waffle, 450, Belgian Waffle and Fried Fish. That sounds something I would order. It's like fish and chips, but with waffle. Chickens and, it's like chickens and waffle, but with fish. $8.75. Breakfast cheeseburger, $5.25. Starfish pancakes, half stars. Half stars. $4.25, full stars, $6.25. Fresh oatmeal, two twenty-five. Various cereal, dollar twenty-five. Try our fi fast and famous breakfast menu. Sides: Bigfoot bacon, three dollars. Apple sausage, ooh, apple sausage, three twenty-five. Love apple sausage. Crab cakes, five dollars. Hash browns, two twenty-five. Bagel with cream cheese, two dollars. Two slices of toast, a dollar fifty. Beverages: Coffee, Arcadia Bay roast, a dollar fifty. Free real fills with breakfast. Tea, one dollar. Fresh orange juice, two dollars. Various soda, dollar fifty. Milk, a dollar twenty-five. Mineral water, a dollar. Ask about our daily specials. I should have asked about the daily specials. <sighs> Maybe I want some specials. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. I feel like advancing the story requires us to drink our coffee, which is why we're not doing it yet. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Yes. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No, it wouldn't be. All right, let's advance the story. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. The day is mine, Trebek. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Incoming. Fourth dimensional deja vu. Chloe's gonna come in any minute now. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Thanks, Joyce. Thank I'm you. I'm like a baby. Woo! Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. Speaking of which. Speak of the devil. There she is. Mom and Max, She's so together bro. again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs In to more ways me. than one. Unless well, you uh, honey, you almost died, fire, so I did. Out. You almost oh, God, died, so you did Didn't need rescuing. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Hey, I was I I was the one who turned it. I. What are you doing? All right, fine. Now that that's out of the way. Hey. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This it's is not all a toy. happening so fast. It's not a we'll start toy. Slow. Right here, now. Oh, gosh. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Well, here it is. I'm going to rewind time once I guess. Tube of glitter, chewing gum. I'm going to guess chewing gum. I don't think... Well, keys is kind of obvious. I'll go with chewing gum because it's kind Some of random. old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. It's all right. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Probably keys. That's pretty obvious. I mean, I should have gone with keys. But I thought keys were too obvious. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Cigarettes, a teddy bear thing. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Teddy bear, a panda bear keychain. Cigarettes, brand, cigarettes brand cigarettes. Bunch of change. 75, I doubt it's gonna check. 75, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 86, 86 cents. Yes, 86 cents. This is a warning ticket. See Franklin Street, 921, 13, 1034 AM, Twin Peaks. Your vehicle is parked in restricted area. Disabled Bay, Reserved Bay, Yellow Lines Bay, keep clear out of parking bay. 
on a pavement. You're causing obstruction to the roadway pedestrian. So park in this area again. Okay, out of parking bay. 86 cents, cigarettes, and a panda bear keys, whatever. Oh gosh, I did it way too much. Your pockets, I know. Can can we speed okay, it up? Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. You've got cigarettes, a parking ticket. You've got all of the above. We'll start with something easy. Let's start with something the most obvious thing. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, I don't remember. Thirteen? Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. How many do you actually have? I've okay, been counting Max. the cigarettes. Study every item carefully. One, two, three, four, anything. five, six, seven. Seven cigarettes. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow know. Mine. Story's not gonna advance unless I get this right. A little bit faster, Max. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella. All right, keys. Your car. Duh, wait. Panda. A Not bad. You do have that iron. Cigarettes. I'm pretty. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. How useful. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich cents. as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? I think it was like 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. I remembered that. I'm good. So you believe me, right? Oh, baseballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. And I think you do too. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Oh, she's got a nice looking How's breakfast. The food, Max? Excellent. Better than I remembered. Very good save. Mm-hmm. That's and why you I'm love me. With the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. What else am I supposed to I do? I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Uh. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Ooh. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's a whole bunch of things. Is that it? Is that it? That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. All right. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Do I have to do an order? Um, 
Joyce drops her plate. Joyce drops her plate, and the truckers make fun of her. So what happens next? Alert on cops radio, and he leaves, and he as he and he eats. Alert on cops radio, and he leaves, and he eats a donut, and his partner leaves, and he answers. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin, Trevor, Fight, and Joyce beats them. Beats them. No. Um. And Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. I didn't. As the trucker plays a new song, as a butterfly lands on it, as a fly, I don't see. As the trucker plays a new song, the jukebox I don't crazy notice any of those as things. The trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything think, happens. I don't think. Like you said. I think I made some mistakes. I think she drops her plate. She drops the. Pl no, she she doesn't have a plate. The trucker drops. Oops. The that trucker so drops the mug. Break another cup? Really? No the trucker drops the you. mug. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is Oh, the partner car? leaves. The partner You're leaves. I think dude. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. And then the jukebox. Oh, a crotch. Uh, oh, oh. The cockroach. This is a sad day in Maxville. Yeah, okay. I didn't notice the cockroach because I wasn't looking at the jukebox. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking towards the jukebox. Couldn't I have predicted something else? Here. I'm going to predict. Alright. Uh, Trevor drops his glass. Trucker drops his mug. That was a trucker, I think. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens? Then, alert on cops, radio, and he leaves. And his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Joyce stops them. Justin. And then the cockroach. getting good. Jukebox says a cockroach crawls on the it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarre. Let's take a look. See how accurate I was. I think it was the trucker. Not Trevor. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, what really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you put the a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. Yeah, it's. I, that's I what I said be before. Why it's you not a toy. That? Of course, it's a toy. The best toy ever. No. You can bang anyone with no strings attached. Rewind time and boom! It's like it never happened. This, this is why Chloe. you don't have this power, Chloe. Maybe you made a move on me, and I would never know. Oh my gosh. Yes, Honey. that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. No. I don't have time. No. I you don't did have time. not just say that. Nope, don't have time. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Yep, can't do it too much. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. Oh my gosh. You need a sidekick to guide you. No. Okay, girl one. No. Show me the way to Chloe. I don't know if having you as a sidekick is that smart, Chloe. I'm willing to be your friend, but Chloe you being my sidekick, me. oof. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Oh, I don't know at all. This can't be good. This can't be good. This can't be good. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. I got you, babe. <laughs> yeah, How yeah. apropos. But no fucking way. All right, all right. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Mac. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer winter. to drink in silence and solitude. Very well. I said over and out. All right, all right, all right. Hey there, crazy lady. 
Oh yeah, hello again. Back to breakfast day. Eh? Oh yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Let's speak. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Oh boy. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. It might be Warren. Come on, before mom starts some more shit. Let's it bail. might it's be Warren. Kate Marsh from Black Oh, Black I need Black. to get that. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch yeah, you well, see Kate every day Walsh, at school? Her life is in the line. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Um, Kate's life is on the line. I'm sorry, Chloe, but... If, if I had to choose between helping a friend with her personal problems that may cause to her having suicidal thoughts versus using my superpower as a toy, I'm sorry, I'm going to help out a friend who is has a far more life and death situation. Chloe is probably going to hate me for this, but at the end of the day, if Kate Marsh ends up killing herself at some point, and I feel like I didn't do everything in my power to prevent that, that would haunt me more than Chloe hating me for the rest of my life. Like, if she wants to hate me for the rest of my life, okay. But if Kate ends up doing something that she regrets because I wasn't there for her, that's worse. So this is a really easy choice for me. Super easy choice. And I'm not going back, Chloe, I'm sorry. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. If you were really my friend, Chloe, you'd I understand. Swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Good, I'm glad I was able to talk to her. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's yeah. rock. And it was only for like, what, 30 seconds? You could have waited 30 seconds, Chloe. She could have waited 30 seconds. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. Nope, not gonna do that. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Nope, not gonna do that. Commit, commit. Not gonna do that. I don't know who that guy is, but he's probably gonna be a problem. Maybe he's the one who's stalking me. Maybe he was hired by Nathan Prescott. I don't know. But my time traveling stuff is going to kick his butt somehow. I don't know how, but we'll see. Oh, gosh. Are we going to... Oh, no. This is not... I, from what I've seen in the previews, what we're about to do is going to be not kosher. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Oh, great. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. You're taking advantage exactly of this why it's ability. Time to have fun. That's not cool. Taking advantage of this is gonna bite you in the butt, because it always does. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. He, yep, you did. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. That's Until not now. true, Chloe. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. Oh, gosh. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. All right, all right. So I, I need to stop, pause this for a second, um, because I just wanted to explain. I, I, I apologize if you guys think I'm being too hard on Chloe. I apologize, because I know there are a lot of you guys who probably really like Chloe's character, and that's that's good. You're, you're allowed to like her. Obviously, you guys have seen that I don't agree with some of her choices. I don't agree with some of her life choices. I don't agree with her attitude. Um, like I said, I'm trying to as much as I can within the limits of the game, role play, max, sort of like how I was when I was her age. And growing up as a kid, I, as I said, I was a pretty big goody two-shoes. Um, not that I necessarily, like, you know, I, I, guess, I guess for me when I was growing up, 
as a middle schooler and high schooler, there were just certain things that I just never was interested in or never really wanted to get into. Like, you know, smoking, drugs, drinking, gangs, stuff like that. Like, those are the kind of things that I just, um, I didn't particularly care for it. I was really not interested and really was turned off by it. And so I, I tend to surround myself growing up. I surround myself um, choosing f friends, surrounding myself with friends that I look up to, friends that I admire and friends that I respect and had a lot of qualities that I thought were good qualities that I wanted to, um, I wanted to have within myself. That was just my choice as growing up as a kid, as I wanted to surround myself with those kind of people, with those kind of friends. Now, that's not to say that, um, that's not to say that I didn't, uh, ha make friends with people who happened to be into drugs or who happen to like drink um virtually every single one of my friends knew that i wasn't into that stuff so they knew um they respected me enough to not do it around me because they knew that that made me uncomfortable i, I was uncomfortable being uh, being around with it and i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing um and if it's a party if i'm in a party situation where there's like you know drinking and you know smoking weed and things like that and it's just not my thing i'm not gonna like lecture them i don't lecture my friends about it i don't like i'm not gonna tell them oh i'm gonna call the cops on you or i'm going to you know you guys sh you know I, I i would just politely say hey guys this is not my thing it's not my scene you know i'm just gonna politely excuse myself remove me from that situation leave that situation to say i'll see you guys in school tomorrow or whatever um, and in those situations again virtually every single time my friends understood and they got it and but I think most of them would know not to even invite me to those kind of parties anyway because they knew that I wouldn't have I wouldn't enjoy myself I wouldn't have fun I wouldn't be comfortable and I think as a friend you need to be respectful of people and their comfort levels when it comes to things like that when it comes to controversial things like that so, yeah, that, that's basically all I'm saying is that I tended to be uncomfortable around that kind of stuff. And so if I had to choose to hang out with specific friends, I, it's, it's um, easier for me and I enjoy myself more when I surround myself with a type of friends who either don't do that kind of stuff um, who are, or who don't do that kind of stuff, or friends who um, know not to do that kind of stuff around me. You know, I like to be surrounded by friends who I think, you know, are good students, who are studious, who um, like to help people, who like to who like to encourage um, genuineness and like to encourage trying to do positive things in the world and being nice to people. Um, I like to surround myself with friends who respect their parents, um, and I'd like to, I mean, David is a case where he's definitely, you know, has some issues, but, you know, people who respect themselves, respect their bodies, respect, um, my own personal comfort level of things like that. And so when it comes to friends like Chloe, again, I can definitely be friends with her, but that doesn't mean that I'm comfortable hanging out with her. And I guess you could argue, well, Max seems to really be genuinely interested in hanging out with Chloe, and I'm trying to um, allow her to do that as much as possible. But with things like that Kate thing, priorities. I mean, some things are, you have to think about what's most more important. And I guess a lot of you guys are saying, well, this is a teenager. I'm sorry, but when I was a teenager, I actually thought like that. I actually would like to believe I was decently mature for my age, and I actually thought about things like that and consequences of my actions. And, you know, I like to look ahead to my choices in life and where the choices in my life that I make will take me. And that includes um, the situations that I place myself into or 
remove myself from. And sometimes that also means the people that I hang out with um, and when I hang out with them and what they're doing when I am hanging out with them. It's just how I chose to live my life as a person growing up because, you know, I was invested in trying to be the kind of person that I wanted to be when I grew up because that's very critical. I knew how critical it was in high school and middle school to um, have the kind of friends that encouraged me to be the kind of person that I wanted to be. Not the person that every mind might think was cool or was popular, but the person that I thought that I would be proud of when I grew up. And if other people did other things that I didn't agree with, that's, I mean, that's their choice. That's their choice. And they do whatever it is that they feel is right for them. I'm going to do whatever it is I feel that's right for me. And we're just going to have to respect each other's choices for being our own personal life choices. Um, we might disagree on each other's life choices. And that's okay. We can agree to disagree. Um, so anyway, I don't mean to go off too long on that. That's I'm probably a good bit over after talking your ear off. But you know, that's those are. I hope that that'll explain to you why um, I have certain feelings about Chloe because she pretty much represents the kind of pe the kind of friend that I will be there for you. Um, if you absolutely need me for like Kate needs me for a life and death situation. But if you're going to be doing stuff that I think is not very constructive, not only to not, not only con like constructive in general, but de destructive to yourself, I'm not going to encourage it. I'm not going to encourage it if I feel like it's, if, if you're being destructive to yourself, because I don't think that that makes me a good friend. I would not be a good friend to encourage you to do something that I believe is destructive. Um, and I think that some of the things that Chloe does is, is destructive to herself and will get her into trouble. Um, so I'll do everything I can in my power to help her. But ultimately, Chloe is be trying to become an adult. She clearly wants independence and she is going to eventually make her own choices in life and nobody's going to make the choices for her and she is going to ultimately have to um she's going to have to accept the consequences of her choices because she doesn't have the luxury of turning back time like max does she doesn't have that luxury and i think that it's a good thing that she doesn't, because I think with Chloe, she has to learn about consequences. And she has to learn... I feel like if she... Someone like her, who doesn't seem, in my opinion, to think too clearly about consequences, does isn't really thinking too much ahead about, you know, these choices that are making, what is going... What are the repercussions of them in the long run? That's the kind of person that I think would be a very bad choice to have this power, time travel power, which is why I am not really that keen on entertaining the idea of having her as a sidekick, because I think that is a horrible combination. Someone who doesn't care about consequences would take too much advantage of a time travel power, and that's what scares me. So, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.